Hi Year 6, for our science lesson today I would like to read you the story of Moth and it's an evolution story. It follows on from what we learnt before and after you've read this story then you need to follow the science lesson for today. So all you need to do is listen for now. This is a story of light and dark, of change and adaptation, of survival and hope. It starts with a little moth. Look, what's that moving in the moonlight? A shiny cocoon wiggles and jiggles and something is waking up from a long winter's sleep. Six little legs uncurl, two tiny antennae unfurl and four salt and pepper wings stretch and quiver in the breeze. Watch out, hungry predators are nearby. Quick, fly away. The peppered moth joins its sisters, brothers and cousins. Most have speckled, freckled wings. But sometimes a peppered moth is born with wings as dark as charcoal. The moths flutter and flutter, skitter and swoop and loop the loop all night long. They look for food and try not to get eaten themselves. Watch out for bats! As the sun rises, nighttime creatures must find a safe place to rest. Peppered moths doze on lichen covered branches. Be silent, be still. Someone else is looking for food now. Who is disguised and who will survive? Oh no, charcoal black wings are easier to spot on pale branches. The dark coloured moths will be a feast for the hungry chicks. The speckled, freckled moths are masters of disguise. Their salt and pepper wings keep them safe from hungry eyes. The very next night they lay eggs of their own and the new moths will have salt and pepper wings too, just like their parents. Every year the same thing happens. Hundreds of tiny eggs hatch. The moths with the best camouflage survive long enough to have children and pass on their salt and pepper wings. This is why most peppered moths were speckled and freckled until the world began to change. People built factories and burnt coal to, mag to power magnificent machines. They made steam trains to take things here, there and everywhere. Chimneys filled the air with smoke and soot. Pollution stained the clouds and blackened the branches where peppered moths rest. A bird is hunting for a snack. Now that the world is darker, which moths are disguised and which moths will survive? The darkest moths are the master of disguise. Their charcoal coloured wings keep them safe from hungry eyes. They now live long enough to lay eggs of their own and pass on their wing colour to their children and grandchildren. And great grandchildren. After 50 years, there are just as many peppered moths as there have ever been, but most are charcoal coloured now, and the speckled, freckled moths are rare. They have adapted to the changes in their world. Next time you scramble through a forest, ramble near a hedgerow or run around a garden, be silent, be still. Look closely at the trees. You might spot a moth with wings as dark as charcoal or a moth with speckled, freckled wings because their story didn't end when the world was a darker place. People decided to clean up the air. They burnt less coal and found new ways to power machines. Year by year by year, cities grew greener. The air all around became cleaner and the trees shed their sooty bark. The speckled, freckled moths are camouflaged once more and live long enough to pass on their salt and pepper wings to their children. And today, both types of moths find places to hide and survive. 
they are still telling their story of light and dark, of change and adaptation, of survival and hope. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed that story and it is a true story. Okay, if I show you here the peppered moth again, there's a light form of the peppered moth and there is a dark form. Okay, and it's true and a famous example of natural selection. The peppered moths were surviving best on the trees because they had light speckled wings and there was rarely any dark black charcoal coloured moths. After the Industrial Revolution though, when lots of factories came about, there was a lot more pollution and there was soot and it darkened the environment. Trees were covered with a layer of soot and suddenly the charcoal um, moths were able to survive better and so they reproduced and they made more. Okay, and it's an example of natural selection because the number of black moths became larger once the environment had changed so that being dark coloured, being char having charcoal wings was actually the best way to survive predators. So check in now to my science lesson to follow on from that story. Thank you for listening.